I'm turning you into toothpicks with my Zowie Zap gun. Zap, zap, zap! <laughs> Super Earl saves New York again. Now I think I'll go save Cleveland. <laughs> hey, Arnold, Vernon and me got work to do. Go play somewhere else. No, I want to play here. This is my room, too. Get a load of super miles. <laughs> Watch it, Vernon. The last dude who talked to me like that, I laserized his nose. <laughs> Come on, Arnold. We ain't got time to play kid games with you. A salami sandwich and pretzels. <laughs> Arnold, how many times have I told you not to put food in my drawer? I had to. I ran out of room in mine. <laughs> Want some Chico tacos? <laughs> Arnold, I'm telling you from last time, don't put food in my drawer. I don't like mustard on my socks. Would you rather have mayonnaise? <laughs> Come on, Willis, let's get this stuff set up. All right. Hey, what are you guys doing? Vernon's helping me with my class project. Vernon takes pictures for the school paper in Harlem. That's right, and a picture by Vernon is worth a thousand words. I've seen your pictures, and the first word is blurry. <laughs> Arnold, get your A out of here. Yes. <laughs> I told you guys, this is my room, too. That's the problem. I got no quiet, no privacy, no place to go and think deep thoughts. Hey, take your dumb pictures. I got something better to do. I got a date on the moon with Lois Lane. <laughs> Ta-da! Is that a bird? Is that a plane? No, it is Super Ronald. <laughs> and Super Ronald is ready for his super snack. <laughs> super Arnold already has had his super snack. Arnold, doesn't your stomach ever get filled up? Yeah, but I can never get rid of that empty feeling I have in my mouth. <laughs> well, I guess battling the forces of evil must make a guy pretty hungry, right? Okay, Arnold. I'll give you a couple of cookies. <laughs> hey, how about taking some up to Willis and his friend, huh? Yeah. Well, it's probably snatch the cookies out of my mouth and bounce me out on my butt. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Are you and Willis on the outs? Well, Willis wants me out of the room, and you can't get much outer than that. <laughs> I'm sure it's just that photography project he's working on for school. That's very important to him. Hey, listen, everybody. I need to take some more pictures of you guys for my school project of Mr. D and Mrs. G. Who are the pictures for, Willis? See, I got this project called Interesting People I Know. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, and we already took some shots of the doorman, the janitor, and that crazy guy who lives on 8th Avenue who plays the ukulele with his toe. I would be honored to be included in such distinguished company. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we all go in the living room? There's much more room in there. Okay, Willis, what do you want me to do? Play the spoons with my knees? <laughs> Nothing like that, Mrs. Gary. I want natural pictures. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys, where do you guys want to take the pictures at? Hey, Willis, how about a shot of them standing on the balcony? I hope the pigeons don't mistake them for statues. <laughs> hey, listen. Take one of me sitting at my desk with Mrs. Garrett standing beside me. Get us both with one shot. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Terrific. Oh, dear. How does my hair look? Oh, it looks very nice, Mrs. Garrett. How's mine? Lovely. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about your hair. With Willis taking a picture, the top of your heads won't be in it. <laughs> oh, get out the way. Watch it, Earth Man. You're messing with a dude who's faster than a speeding bullet and more powerful than a locomotive. <laughs> I know. You better get your locomotive out of here before Willis lets you have it in your caboose. 